Here we go. Right. Good evening, Tin Top Racing UK with Mr. Michael Chris doing a fan zoom. God knows how this will work out, but hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> well, quite like the uh, the backdrop, mate. Hey, look at this. Hey, this is all awesome, snazzy. Yeah, that's cool. It? No expense spared here, mate. Four ninety five off right. Google. <laughs> 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 yeah. Have I got? Have I got to pay that? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. If you want to, if you want to contribute, of course. All right, we just. I always have you down for tightly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, four ninety five is my budget for the month. <laughs> right, we've just got uh, Sam joining us as well. So, uh, uh, welcome, Sam. Hello, Hello Sam. Sam. I know it's a long way to Northern Ireland, but can you hear us, Sam? Yeah, we are, yeah. Right, so, um, yeah, let's go then. Who wants to fire off? My, there you my, call, my call just went and come back. All right, you're in. Let's go. Right. In your touring car career, <laughs> what is your favourite moment in racing, in your race career? Oh, tough question. Um, uh, I'd say I don't know I'd say uh, there's been a couple I'll go for a couple I think my first one obviously first ever touring car race Brands Hatch um, absolutely crapping myself uh, and um, I think the build up to that you know I was teammates with Bobby Thompson at the time and um, we were in the truck before the first race and he could tell I was absolutely shit myself and uh and he, he, took, he took me to one side. I went, don't worry, mate. I'll come 18th in my first ever race. He, and he said, if you can just beat that. And I'm sitting 26th on the grid or something at the time. And I was like, 18th, hey, bro. And he was like, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. And then it started to rain. And I started to panic even more because I was thinking, like, oh, no, here we go. This is, uh, this is incredible. And um, I, uh, I put the slicks on, obviously. And uh, <laughs> I took off on the start. I'll never forget it. I got to the first corner. And I was like... Oh, I'm definitely out of my depth here. <laughs> and I think I was at last coming up the first corner. And, uh, and then I just sort of got my head down and um, and it just turned into an absolute heroic moment for me, um, race one. And, uh, you know, driving, getting past, um, you know, Turkington and, and Plato and people like that in race one for me was just, uh, yeah, it was a dream come true racing Mark Blundell as well, and who, who's obviously one of, People I've grown up watching stuff, and to get 12. So that was that was a, an amazing time, and also um, pretty much same sort of thing again, same year 2019 um, with a P9 yeah. at Silverstone, and uh, you know jumping out the car, and the first person to come up and give me a cuddle and, and jump up and down was Jason Plato, which was uh, which was quite quite a good yeah we had a good battle in that race, nice clean and tidy, and he respected how I drove. And uh, come up and congratulated me straight away. And I just thought, do you know what? For someone like that to to do that to someone like me, I must be doing something right. So that was a that was another nice moment for me. Um, you know, 2020, we've had our good our good times as well. Fruxton uh, with BTC Racing, Fruxton was was a mega weekend. You know, racing with Matt Neal and Colin Turkington on the fastest track in the UK and uh, running in the top seven. So yeah, I've had some I've had some nice times. Nice one. Um, James, you want to fire one over? Yeah, Sam. Creasy, are you happy that the fans are going to be back shortly so you can do your Friday night around the campsite as normal? <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait, mate. I cannot wait. How are you anyway? All right? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Yeah, getting there slowly but surely. I'm getting there. Yeah, I think... Um... I think it's looking really good for the fans. Uh, it's, 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 I mean, when the news come out the other day, I'm, I'm I don't know what's going to happen with Fruxton. Whether, whether Toker are going to, tight, isn't it? Yeah, whether Toker are going to move Fruxton back, so we, or, or we do the first one behind closed doors. Um, I know it's a very busy schedule for ITV and stuff, so you might have to, you might have to miss the first one, but. Um, it's definitely looking by the second one at Snetterton. I think uh, we'd definitely be having fans back in. So, um, yeah, Snetterton campsite's getting it first, I think. Happy days. That's my birthday weekend. I might pay a trip to that. Oh, is it? Oh, mate. Yeah, yeah man. got to come down to that. Oh, one. yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. 
that's, I think that'd be good, mate. I think um, it's just it's just going to be so crazy to have the fans back and a bit of hospitality as well. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, we 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 haven't even seen the BTC hospitality yeah. tent this year. It hasn't been out at all. So uh, we'll must be really strange like. for you guys. I just having nobody to talk to or just you know nobody even there making a noise. Must be must be weird. Bit of sweet for me, if I'm honest with you. I mean, obviously, you know what I'm like. I love the fans, and I and I make a bit of time and on the Friday and stuff. But yeah. this year's been really cool in a way because I, my learning curve has just gone like that. Because mm. you know, if I weren't in the car, I was in the lorry learning. Yeah. And uh, we never had anyone to sort of come around and say, right, you got to go and do an interview over here, or you know. Sometimes it could take me an hour to get from the toilet to the to the truck. Just I know, because I've so... a few times. <laughs> um, I'll, get you making, I'll get you making yourself out to be popular. <laughs> <laughs> just quickly leading on from that then, what, what you just said about that learning curve from last season, where do you think that stands you for this season then? Better than if you had, a, if you had fans last season, do you think you wouldn't have been in that position ready for this season? Um, it's tough to say, but it's a good question because um, I feel like um, having the pre-season with Josh and Tom, uh, we went out to Spain and, you know, we had five days out there and I learned an awful lot um, mm. in in that time out there. And uh, that was where it all started. And then, you know, just uh, I, I still feel like the learning curve would have been there without the fans or with the fans because the track walks and stuff, I learned so much from Josh Um mm. You know, there's was, there was some corners on some tracks um, that he's explained to me where we need to have a touring car and where we need to turn in or where we need to lift off or pitch the car. And I would be, I would be a metre or maybe even two metres on some corners off of where he would be. Um, really? So, I mean, it was massive differences and, and breaking points and, and picking up uh, the power um, and stuff like that. So... Don't get me wrong, I still would have learned that, but then to, to go back and put that into practice and, and then to go and sit in the truck and look at your data, look at exactly where you're putting your, your foot on the brake or, or an accelerator and then judging it and, and just having the time to talk about metres. We're talking like braking like three or four metres later and yeah. stuff like that. So, you know, so if I'm honest, knowing me, I would have probably gone, yeah, yeah, see you later. I'm going out to see the fans or whatever and just cracked on. And so maybe I wouldn't have learned so much. But yeah, uh, it, it'd be, it, I'm ready for this year, man. 100%. I'm ready for this year now. Cool, man. Uh, it's quite to see it. Hello. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Bill? All right. Yeah, hang on, mate. Yeah, I'm doing a Zoom with Creasy at the moment. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, sorry. It's uh, William Story from Rich Energy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what you want your stock back? You can't keep it on the pallets because you're selling it from Amazon now. What the hell? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll ask first. him, mate. Let's see what he says. Yeah, Creasy wants his stock back. <laughs> he can't have it. He's oh. gone. I've sold it. I want to know where to get it from. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I've got yeah, it. In mate, my yeah, yeah, well, yeah, all yeah. of it. I'm, I'm going to have to cut I've you got, off. I've got. <laughs> Bill, I'm going to have to cut you off. I know Twitter did it to you. I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to have to cut you off. Bye, mate. Bill. <laughs> that was a good gag, Lee. But, um, yeah, so Rich Energy uh, are releasing a new sugar-free one soon. It's coming soon, <laughs> so it's going to be good. So I'll have a white hat on soon. Oh, Christ. Hopefully. <laughs> that won't go but with yeah, a skin, Yeah, if anyone wants any Rich Energy, I've got it for sale in my garage, personally signed. It's 30 quid a crate, though, for me. Not, not 30 quid a crate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving swiftly on. Uh, Amy, do you want to fire a question? Yeah. Um, Hi, Amy. Hi, Chrissy. Um, just why not? Do you have a... Yeah. <laughs> well, wanting you to sign it, hopefully, this year. <laughs> mm. Um... Do you have a pre-race ritual, like a set routine you do before you get in, or is it just as you get in? Yeah, I normally open a bottle of Moe in Shandon, have a couple <laughs> of uh, sweets. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I, um, the only, yeah, I'm very superstitious, you know. I, 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 I don't walk under ladders or under signs on, you know, uh, fire hydrants on the street and stuff. I tend to walk around stuff like that. I don't know why. I've just always been a bit weird like that. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, I get dressed in the same way. So I always, I always get dressed, oh God, uh, yeah. put my race suits on <laughs> exactly the same way, and my boots and my gloves. And I also um, have a set for uh, Saturday and Sunday. So it's all, uh, it's all, all out in my bag. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with it. And if it's a little bit out, like. The lads, I think, last year moved some of my stuff around and it threw me out massively. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, just one yeah. more. Um, are you looking forward to having Jade as a teammate this year? Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously she fancies me, like, massive. Like, <laughs> and, uh, so I do as well, Chrissy. Yeah, exactly. So I've got that to, to calm her down with, but... Uh, no, nah, no, nah, she's uh, she's great stuff. She's good. And, you know, we we spent a lot of time with each other last year. Uh, me, Josh, and Jade. Like we travelled together to every yeah. race. You know, we were we were having a right right good time. And to be fair, she even helped us out with you know when the chips are down and stuff, and tells you to sort of you know come on, get on with it and stuff like that. So she was good. But it's going to be a different dynamic this year. I'm really intrigued to see how she gets on. Um, yeah. she's got a very, very uphill task from, from, from day one, you know, getting thrown straight mm. in the deep end of Fruxton. Um, and unfortunately, because we've gone for the new engine, um, our testing is, is, is delayed because we're, we, we've, we've, and an engine change for our car is a, is a massive thing. It's not designed for the Swindon engine. Um, no. So we're putting a lot of effort and time into getting that right. So the engines are going to come later. So bless her, she's only got probably a couple of days, two days testing, and she's going to be straight in the deep end where the likes of Andy Neat, Osborne, all the people that she's racing against this year for the Jack Sears, yeah. you know, um, they've, they've got 15 days booked, I think. And uh, Tom Chilton's out with 12 days with Adam Morgan and everyone's doing so much testing. Uh, they're all going to hit the ground running, but I'm, I'm hoping that me and Josh can help her out and... and um, Get her, get her at the sharp end pretty soon. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine with you too. <laughs> yeah, she's all right. She, Josh has coached her for years anyway, so he knows right. exactly how to how to help her. So it's, it's all good. Yeah. I hope she don't cool. beat me though. No, that's one. Um, yeah, Glenn. Uh, yeah, so a couple of questions. Um, when you done a Facebook Live, I think it was Thruxton, where you were playing silly buggers with Plato and got the uh, cup of coffee Nick, uh, sport over for one meal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how much of that did you know was going to happen? And are we going to see more of that this year? Uh, oh, question. mate, I, I, would love, uh, I would love to have Facebook Live back. Honestly, that was, uh, that was one. Because I used to do the campsite on the Friday uh, just for, for half an hour, 40 minutes or whatever. And then I used to do the Facebook Live on the Saturday. And, uh, you know, we had 60,000 views that that particular episode that we've done with Jason. And um, <laughs> yeah, like the thing is with Jason is just literally just do not know what he's going to do at any one point. And it was, uh, you know, I saw I saw the second time when he'd done him with the bottle of water and the, fir the first time with the coffee, I just thought, uh, yeah. Just, it was just cracked me up to be fair. He's a, he's a character for sure. But and, yeah. And the second question, obviously, you mentioned about if Jade beats you. Have you got an inter team forfeit if she beats you or Josh? Oh, good question. Oh. <laughs> no, but it sounds like we're going to about to get one, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, any suggestions? I've got to remember if sometimes beats, it's a family show. If she beats me, I might as well just give up, I think. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know she's watching this. She's going to watch this. So, uh, yeah. I yeah. said to her earlier, I spoke to her earlier on the phone, and I said, I'm going to absolutely cane her tonight on there. So, uh, don't expect But if the forfeit right. does happen, it has to be done via a Facebook Live thing so that everybody okay, sees it. What did we do? I last year I got I had to do uh, no 2019 I had to jump in the swimming pool at uh, Alton Park. But let's what could we what any suggestions what, if she beats me or Josh? I'm useless. And she has to forfeits. beat. Say it again. I'm useless with forfeits. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you like with heights? 
Oh, I'm scared of heights. Okay, an abseil then down the building. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Gun Wolf Key down in Portsmouth. A front, a front, front <laughs> abseil as well. Because you've got a twelve people. Thank and whoever loses, you know, yeah, if she beats either of you, the other one's got to do the forefoot. Who said naked? Something naked then. The no, but you can make the sandwiches for the rest of the season. Said it again. I said, if she wins, you have to make her bacon sandwiches for all, the whole of the season. Yeah, to be fair, the bacon sandwich is a good shout. So I think what we do is whoever whoever scores the most point or, or whoever the, scored the least points that weekend, we have to make the sandwiches the following weekend. That sounds uh, sounds about right. Because we used to just phone her up, like me and Josh used to just phone her up on the weekend and we'd be like, Jade, you need to go and get some bacon. So she used to drive out, go get some bacon, come back, cook us some sandwiches. And then tidy up. Me and Josh used to just chill out on the sofa or whatever. Even then, Silverstone, she was like, oh, I'm driving at Silverstone this weekend. And I was like, yeah, but you still got to go and get the bacon. So we sent her out on <laughs> Friday morning to get the to go and get the bacon sandwiches. And she got to the shop and she had no money. So she had to like rifle through all her like, penny pots to try and get the bacon. So we said, like, don't come back if you ain't got any. That's it. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to seeing her comments on this. <laughs> she's gonna beat you up. Uh, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. She'll still beat you up. Though. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. She's strong. Yeah, no. sure. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, are you still you awake? Know? That's the first question. Uh, just yes. <laughs> <laughs> Many apologies. I've got a lot going on. <laughs> it's nothing to do with Chris being boring, I promise. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm moving house. I'm looking after a rescue dog. I'm on call as a Coast Guard. I'm doing a radio show. No way. I'm and I'm. And I'm oh. I, I, many other things besides. Mm -hmm. So forgive me for being like a bit late. <laughs> I'm missing oh, no way. Sounds like a busy life. And it is. And, and, and I'm furloughed, so God knows how I'm going to man manage trying to get back to work. But uh, hey ho. <laughs> donuts. I'm looking forward to donuts. That's what I'm looking forward to. Back at the track. I don't mean yeah, donuts, yeah. I mean donuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we get well. We can't please, do both. Trouble drive. Please promise me donuts, haven't you, Lee? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if Chrissy <laughs> buys them. <laughs> if buys them. Yes, we discussed this before we came on, didn't we? We said we should, like, Chrissy should stand as the first pack of donuts back up track, yeah. No problem. No problem. I can, uh, I can do that. Chrissy's crepes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, sure say crepes. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favourite track? That's a, a very boring question, but I'm too uh, tired to It's a tough question it. for me. A lot of people have got like little people say Brands Hatch, uh, GP, or something like that. But I'd have to say if I if I had to say my favourite track to drive would have to be Knock Hill. Um, it's just so scary, uh, and and you're on a roller coaster ride. But it's never been kind to me, Knock Hill. I'm waiting for it to be nice to me one day. But you know, uh, this year the front wheel drive Honda was rubbish around there, to be honest. And it played into the rear wheel drive cars. And um, and uh, and then and then the year before that, I don't know if you remember, in 2019, Bobby Thompson smashed me off at turn three, and then I come back across the track and uh, hit Hamilton. And um, and then that just sort of ruins your whole weekend on the on the first race. So, and Josh had a massive shunt there as well this year, um, and and completely totaled the car. So uh, it's not been great place for us, but I do love it driving it. I mean, again, um, a lot of people don't really like Snetterton, but that's been really good to me over the years, and I've been really quick there. You know, uh, this year in 2020, we only had an hour practice there, and I put it P2. Um, I was second fastest out of everybody at, at, at Snetterton this year. So, you know, um, it's, a, it's a very fast and technical track as well, um, Snetterton, and it's the longest on there. So, which I thought I would be the furthest 
from from the front running guys because the track's the longest and it's a quite a difficult track to drive. So it putting it P two uh, at Snetterton in practice was was a real eye opener for me and um, made me realise that I'm probably a little bit better than I, I give myself credit for. Oh, hang on a minute, hang. oh Bobby, hello mate. Yeah, Chrissy was just talking about you. <laughs> hang on, what? What you want? What you want? Your Jack Sears trophy back? <laughs> hang on, Bobby. I, I can't, yeah, yeah, Bobby, I, I'm struggling to hear you. Where are you, mate? Inside a tumble dryer, trying to find your socks. You did that at Croft. You don't need to do it again, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Hello. He's gone, mate. He's gone. Sorry. He's obviously he's obviously still suffering from memory loss. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, the thing is, the thing is, you say that about this uh, Jack Sears trophy, Lee. Um, but if I if uh, if the Honda engine hadn't let me down six times on the bounce, I would have wrapped it up at at Snet. I think. I haven't heard that before from you. I know. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, I was gutted that Bobby uh, Bobby had that shunt. And, and, and uh, I'll be honest, right? I was at Croft. Obviously, I didn't make it out for race one because um, we had a, a water leak. Then race two, we had an electrical fault on on the engine on the fuel pump, and um, they thought they fixed it. So we went out for race three, uh, done the outlap, and and straight away it was misfiring straight away. So I come into the pits. They messed around with something. I went out, done another lap, realised that the the engine was was not working. So I come into the pits, and as I pulled into the pits, um, I was absolutely gutted. You know, all the way up to Croft, and we hadn't even done a, a competitive lap. And um, I turned the engine off, and all I could hear was the circuit commentator. Was, oh, there's a big crash! And I was like, please be Bobby, please be Bobby, please be Bobby. Thinking, you know. Uh, just thinking, obviously, you know, crash and he would have been out of the race or whatever. And then he said, oh, and he's gone over and over. And I was like, oh, no, who is it? Who is it? And then he was like, it's Bobby Thompson. I was like, oh, my God. Like, so I felt like instantly terrible. And I was just jumped out of the car and made, you know, I saw it on the TV and I was just like horrified that I had them thoughts. And then obviously see that accident. And um, I made sure, like, straight away that I, I went and see him and I, I spoke to him straight away. But obviously, I didn't mean for him to have a big accident like that. Yeah, but, he had. But that's, that's he, all I can stick in my head is, like, me thinking that, thinking, oh, come on, someone start knock him off or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it turned into be a horrible accident for him. And, I, you know, I, Bobby, me and him are real good pals. And, and um, I wish that he had finished the season so I could have beat him on the track, really. Yeah, he has asked for the voodoo doll back. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, man, I felt so bad all the way home, even though I had a shocking weekend. Uh, and coming off the back of Silverstone with three DNFs as well, getting smashed off by Gornor and then two engine problems there was, uh, yeah, complete disaster. I weren't in the best of uh, best of places, for sure. All right, uh, Sam. Hi, how's it going? Hi Sam, how are you? Graham, thank you. Um, well, I've got a question got... for you, Sam. Uh -huh. I've got a question for you. Right. Who is your favourite Irish driver on the grid, even though you've got Taylor <laughs> Smith now as well? Ooh. Oh, um, I, I'm still Turks all the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh... 100%. Um, seen him walking down the port a few times with his son and all, giving him a quick wave and a beep out the car and he's looked at us and going, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you actually sound a bit like him, actually. Uh, uh, no, well, I don't more, know, because he's not... More. He's not from up round our part. He's from, like, closer to Ireland more than we're, like, closer to the, the north more, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, it's definitely my favourite driver. And Is he? On, yeah, he goes on my list on the... Fantasy racing at the top every time. Quite good looking as well, isn't he? Not my type, no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robert's watching. Don't tell him that. Okay, that leads me on to my second question. Well, that leads me on my se second question. Who's the, fittest, who's the fittest BTCC driver on the grid? 
Me and Josh played this. Me and Josh played this game last year. Uh, Josh is ginge. He doesn't count. No, no. Me, me, and, me, and, me, and, me and Josh played this game, so we we had some fun with it. But yeah, but who's your who's your uh, who do you rank the fittest driver in BTCC? Um. No pressure. Um. Yeah. Oh, he's your boyfriend. <laughs> us, us even... oh. next to you. <laughs> no, he's not. Um. Uh. Oh, Ingram probably. Shut up! That is a joke. <laughs> what? What about Aiden Moffat? I um, said Aiden. I said Aiden Moffat. No. Or, uh, uh, no. Or maybe like Aiden. What? Who do we say is quite good looking on there? Bobby Thompson. It's good looking lad. Uh, well, Josh isn't too bad himself. Josh. Josh Cook. Yes. What? <laughs> ginger Josh Cook. You're on the Cook. list somewhere, Creasy. I think you're a bit lower down. My husband's ginger, so I suppose there must be a theme running there. Oh, God. He looks like a leprechaun. <laughs> He's been all right over here in the water. My husband's okay, fair enough. What's, what's, what's your question, Sam? I'm sorry to gate crash you. No, you're all right. No, my husband's just going to watch this and think, oh, this wasn't about her, it was supposed to be about you. Um, right, <laughs> I'm going to be a bit more controversial here, right? So obviously, you're in the Honda, you're getting the new engine, all's real good. Um, but if you could drive any car, if anybody came, you know, if they all just came to you and you got the choice to pick one, who would you drive oh. for? Well, I'd have to say probably... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think if I had the choice, um, everybody probably knows it. Uh, it would to to race for WSR um, with Dick Bennett's because Dick Bennett's has been uh, really inspirational for me. Um, and uh, I spoke to him 2019 when I first met him and uh, just before I signed for um, team hard and um, he invited me up to the factory at, at, up, up at WSR and uh, I went in there and for me to even consider racing in the British touring car let alone with WSR with Dick Bennett was, was incredible and, I, and so I turned up at the factory and uh, he invited me in and um, he showed me around and uh, it, in, in uh, the lobby there he's got um, Jonathan Palmer's Formula 1 car uh, and he said, "Oh, this is this is here. Just uh, I'm looking after it for him for a little while and stuff. But he's been here for like years. And then he showed me around, and I was just like in absolute awe of the guy. And then we went upstairs um, uh, into the boardroom, and we sat there, and he had all these uh, crash helmets, like you know, all the famous people that he's worked with over the years, all the Formula One drivers. I was naming them and stuff." And it was uh, it was a bit surreal when we were talking about signing for WSR in 2019, and um, he gave us some real good advice. And he sort of said, "Look, you know, touring car is, you know, a, a very tough championship." And he he sort of said, "We think that you 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 will be quick enough coming from rear wheel drive Genetas and what I'd done uh, through Genet. We'd gone through all of our stats and stuff, um, but he gave me the best advice, and he said, have a year." somewhere else as in team hard um less less sort of no one knows this story either by the way this is uh this oh, is the yeah. first time i've talked to you did you know this you didn't know this story either Lee, did you <laughs> i knew uh, i knew you'd been you were having words with wsr yes yeah, so, so so then he said to me look he gave so he gave me his number and he he, he said look i'll i'll, I'll Keep you know we want you as a development driver in the future and all this sort of stuff, but go away, have a year, see how you feel. So I went away, signed for Team Hard, and um, um, com you know constant contact. He was texting me saying, you know, have a look at this, do this, and and keep, you know keep your eye on this. And and then we turned up at the first event. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, we turned yeah for first event, and um, he went up and watched me from one of the corners and. Uh, uh, for practice and uh, I see him afterwards and he said oh you need to come you need to do this here you need to 
get this sorted. And I was just like, it's just blowing my mind that this guy is telling me at Grand's Hatch. And then we went on to, to do some more races and um, he watched me and he congratulated me for 2019 at the end of the season. I went to the Night of Champions and we had a chat about 2020. Um, but at the time, obviously, AJ, Oliphant and Turks were going to be in the car. And um, he said, look, we, we are impressed with you. We did, you know, we did want to talk about that. And, um, you know, and things probably would have been different if I would have waited. But obviously, I wanted to, I wanted to get my seat for 2020. So um, just on, just like the next one, just off that then. So you've obviously got I, your car, I, you've got a seat. Can I just... Can I just butt in you know, one minute, Lovely. Sam? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've got a guest turned up. Don't know if he's oh, on all no, your not, screens or not. It's not Jay, <laughs> Mr. Robottom. It? Yo. Oh, Hello. No. I know. I know. You can't it keep the rough his, away, can you? It was his birthday Terrible. the other day. He was 68, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. That's rude. Oh, my God. Look how dedicated I am. I'm sat on my sim. I'm doing some testing. I'm... Look how dedicated I am. Let, let's have a look at your sim and see what car uh, it Hang is. on. How do you t no, I'm not, actually on, I'm not actually on the sim. I'm just sat in my chair because my little area. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, uh, look at that. I've been, I've been playing. I've been on a... Look at that 1994, 1991 Formula 1. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, how about that? Uh, that's not the car I was hoping it was going to be. <laughs> well, well, what can I say? I do apologise. Anyway, I've uh, interrupted. I've only came in to cause chaos, and I'm going to go again in a minute. So, sorry, Chris. I'm sure you were saying. How, how's the baby? Uh, she's all right, I think. She's, to, you know, she's all right. You she's think? Fine. When was the last time you saw her? Well, she was playing on the mat about an hour ago. So, no, she's fine. She's good. It's good. It's good. I'm just. Uh, it's still a bit new. You know what I mean. Oh, you look so, a bit trim. You look a bit trim, son. I have lost a bit of weight, driver. Oh, I've seen you. I haven't seen you. What, you didn't come what, and see what, us. What, this, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of my double chin so I can get rid of the beard finally. It's been covered up for about 10 years. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, look, so, you look like Beppe off of EastEnders. That's all right. I'll go with that. I'll run with that. <laughs> say that. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So what were you talking about? Was there any technical oh, no. cheating going on? I need to know. No, we're just talking about um, WSR and Dick Bennett's and how much of a legend he is. Oh, he is a legend. That's very true. Very true. Very true. So, he's not uh, wrote to me yet. He's never wrote me a letter yet to say all. Has he not? All Dan. No, he's probably wrote you one though, hasn't he? Hey, we send love letters to each other all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan. I can imagine. Yeah, Dan, has, has Dick Bennett stood on a corner coaching you yet? Or was no, that not no. needed for you? <laughs> well, you know, at the end of the day, you it's difficult to teach a legend anything, isn't it? So, you know, you have to, <laughs> you have to, you know, you have to take the rough with the smooth, really. But, you know, I didn't, I only scored five, five points in 2019. So maybe legend is a bit of an overstatement. Oh, yeah. but... How many did I score? <laughs> I don't know, about like 11 or something like that. It's, it's not about the points. It's about the taking part in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, dear. My word. I knew it was, in a, My I knew it was word. in a better car. Well, debatable, but yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 oh, dear me. Uh, this is, this ain't being broadcast live, fire. is it? Oh, oh, oh dear. Did, didn't no, I Adam, tell won't, you? Adam won't fire me. Yeah? No, you didn't, didn't tell me it's going live. It, it's being recorded. It's going to be broadcast <laughs> oh, on right. Saturday. Yeah, I, and we're that's not right. editing. We're not editing it out either. This is my favourite bit. I'm going to. I'm going to clip this bit. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I'm only joking. Well, I'm not joking. It wasn't very good that year. But we're both, we're both tripled, so there you go. Stop digging. Right. Stop digging, Dad. Just stop there. Adam won't mind. Adam won't mind. Me and Adam have got a very loving relationship. Or oh, we did anyway. Unless he's fallen out with me now. He's not told me yet. So it's all right. But uh, I mean, and uh, Tony Gillum's put my car in the skip. I think finally, has he? So, uh, gone and got himself well, some new new motors. <laughs> has he? I've never known. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. to be honest. Yeah, I've have you know, not, have I you not looked at Instagram? <laughs> nah, not seen it. You mean there's some there's some Coopers in build? Jesus, eight yeah. wept really. <laughs> yeah, they do. No. Look they look good. They do look really good. I'll give him that. They yeah. look mega. He's done a good job. Yeah. Well, he's, he's not a done a good job because I'm not sure Tony knows one end of a spanner to another, but someone's done a good job. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, someone, uh, Tony knows a good down. tool when he sees one. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like that. Uh, like yeah. I came in and, and stole the show. I'm sorry, everyone. I'll, I'll go again in a minute. I do apologize. Don't start picking yourself up, mate. Don't start picking yourself up. No, I don't mean. I don't mean like I've stole the show because I'm more popular. I just mean I've come in and I've disrupted what was going on. Take it as you like, mate. Take it as you like. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. Remember, I've got. A fo- I'm, I, by the way, Lee. Me and Dan were having a phone call uh, last week, and uh, we were talking yeah. about people that we're going to fire off, and we're not going to fire off. And I said to him. Oh, yeah, just remember, just before you go, I owe you two. And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, well, you smashed me off at Brands and he smashed me off at Silverstone. That is so, true. So he's allowing well, me. So the, this year, watch me fire Robottom <laughs> twice and he can't do anything back. No revenge. So well, maybe one of, this is an exclusive then that Robo will be on the grid then. Yeah, is he no, coming back? No, I'm not <laughs> doing, I don't know. No, I'm yeah, not. No. Well, it's ridiculous. I, he keeps saying he keeps saying he's not, but I reckon he is somewhere. But he keeps telling me basically if if I'm back on the grid, Honda. he gets he gets two. No, it's not. No, I know. <laughs> no. How much? Don't be silly. <laughs> Partner in Dan Camish. Don't, don't be silly. No. He still owes me a thousand quid for his boiler. He can't get his money. <laughs> yeah, that's, no <laughs> that's true. No, come on. I did pay you in the end eventually. The night like six months late. What are you on about? It's all right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's six months between friends? It's fine. Yeah, if you rock up on that BTCC grid this year, I'm going to nick the wheels off it until you pay the rest of the <laughs> 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 Oh dear! No, I can't. I, no, we might be back. We, we don't know. We've got a few things going on. Maybe what 20, 20, 21 or twenty two? Well, one of those years, I guess. Maybe if we ever get going. <laughs> if we ever get going, I mean, you know, we, we, nearly, it's not going. we nearly got we nearly got it out of him, Lee. <laughs> ne- nearly, nearly. I'm very good at, at throwing political curveballs, so you know, I'm not really, <laughs> obviously, but you scoreboard. know. I can't. I can't say nothing. Yeah, but I can't because you've all got big mouths and you get straight on Facebook and go, ooh, well, probably have a little bit. Just just saying. Is it it a pre announcement? There's stuff going on. Pre announcement. There's There's stuff going on. There's stuff going on. PMR, TMARD in the Cupra, which you quite like the Cupra. Mm. I do like the Cooper. I like or Camish like uh, or Matt Nielsen. But I think, oh I think if if I was a betting man, you're at Team Hard. I can't say, mate. I can't say. It'll all be revealed very soon, won't it? If we're doing it at all. <laughs> or you're so. signed for 2021. That's 2022. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Hybrid era is very attractive, is it not? Yes. So, you know. Okay. You sponsors guys. and mm, just see, you know, <laughs> think about it. I don't, about I don't think we're there, gonna get an answer out of him. <laughs> not tonight, you're not. No, no, all will be revealed soon, I guess. If if anything's happening, at all. is a lot going on. T Mar did say they've got an announcement coming very soon. You're not helping my situation here, mate. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a week <laughs> soon. <laughs> You're not helping the situation. Uh, it's difficult, okay. isn't it? You know that, Creasy. It's hard. You've got there's a lot. You have to find a lot of money, and you have to find a lot of confidence. And it's hard out there because there's not many people who've got confidence at the minute with COVID and everything going on. So it's tough. Uh, I mean, if you did, let's say hypothetically, you did come back, do you yeah. think having a year out or two years out <clears throat> could do you harm or good? No, because I had nine years out before, so I'm quite. The thing is, I think the difference is I'm not scared of not racing anymore. You know, because you, I raced all my life from like seven years old through to 18, 19. That's all we did as a family. We just went motor racing, right? So no holidays, no nothing. We went karting, 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 karting all the time. And then a bit of cars. But <clears throat> obviously when you're that age and you're brought into that world, you panic like, well, I've got to keep racing. And you kind of get tunnel vision, right? So you make bad decisions because you think the only thing to do is to go motor racing. So when I sort of stopped last time, it takes you three or four years to get over it. And then you realize, well, actually there's other things to do in the world. And then actually when you've got a bit more experience, you can come back and do it properly. So I don't think last year having last year off is a problem. If, if anything, it's for sure helped me because it allowed us to re, you know, restructure and have a look at different things and different opportunities. And it was Fair fun point. to go and race. 
fun to go and race a big V8 slidey car for a weekend and crash three times. <laughs> I didn't crash three times, I crashed once. But, uh, you know, <laughs> good fun, good fun, good fun. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. It's just... Uh, it's just I do know what you mean right? by that, though, because like every year it gets to the end of Brands Hatch, and I'm like, oh, I need to be on that grid next year, 100%. Yeah, but you're grid. new. You're new to the sport as well. And I know yeah. I don't mean that funny, but what's, you've been racing, what, this is your fourth full season? Of <clears> yeah. yeah. So by the time I was 12, I'd had more seasons. I know it's only karting, but karting, especially in the late 90s, was pretty hard. So it yeah. was still very intense. Um, and in go-karting, you're racing like 40 weekends a year, not 10. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it, it becomes really difficult. So for you to, it, you've still got that, um, it's fresh in your life almost a little bit. So you, you, you've you still got that, I need to be on the grid, I need to be on the grid, I need to be on the grid. And for me, I'd rather not race at all if I'm not in a position where I can at least, you know, get some results or I'd rather not yeah. do it. I've, I've not I've not done it before. I've got plenty of other things to do in my life, like go around riding my mountain bike. doesn't mean I don't, want to go motor racing more than anything in the world but it, i just know that unless i can do it properly i'd rather just stay at home yeah fair be point my, be with my daughter i think i'd be wife. absolutely gutted like on a person oh, sorry, like guys. to say because yeah. i'm new to it sorry, i'd yeah. be gutted if i weren't on the grid 100 oh. percent. yeah shut up for a minute chris you got carl on the phone what you want the jack series as well get back <laughs> get in the queue mate you got bobby there. oh we my got, we got oh, daniel on word. it you got no chance, mate. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Sorry, just had to get rid of car. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, actually, that I was going to go into a little interlude when when Chris was on about having his free pass at me for the Silverstone, right? So <clears> Bordley <throat> fired me in race one at Silverstone in 2019, and when I fired Chris, I thought it was Bordley. So <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Fair enough. Yeah, it was an accident. It wasn't real. I just I didn't mean to do it. I just thought, oh, that's Creasy. That's a Volkswagen. It's going straight off now. Bang. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. You End squeezed off. me on the grass at about 130 mile an hour in the wet when we had it, slicks on. Yeah, well, see, it was slippy, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a bit slippy, was that? Yeah, I know. Sorry. I was like, oh, my God! <laughs> right. well, she, she does, she did, you know, if you're going to drive a Volkswagen and look like... Well, you didn't look like everybody else. You did have a different colour scheme, but I am colour blind, so there you go. Oh, oh, there you go. Fair enough, then. I, you only, uh, I only owe you one when you come back. No, it's like one and a half. <laughs> All right, I'll give you enough. that. One yeah, enough. one and a half. Because because the brand's act one, you could you cannot deny you just absolutely no, drilled me. Just sent it. Yeah, I did just send it. I just thought <laughs> there's half a gap there and it's going in. I don't care what happens. <laughs> Off. And then said to me afterwards, "Sorry, mate. I'm so sorry." I was like, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> I was expecting to get a bit of a bit more abuse because we didn't really know each other then. But you were pretty cool, yeah. so yeah. I knew then you were one of mine. Yeah, I'm coming back for you. Don't worry. That's yeah. why I want you on the grid. So, what do you know? Rather than talking about me all the time, what do you know? What what what's what's the gossip? What's on the ground? What's going? What's going? All I happening? know is Tom Chilton's out testing twelve times. Andy Neat and Osborne are out fifteen times, and I'm out once. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> it'd be all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, right. I'm not. I'm not but, being funny. You, you can over test. It gets. I don't like testing. It doesn't mean nothing, to be honest. You just yeah. round and no, round. The only reason round. I want to test is because the engine, like, just a bit yeah. unsure about, obviously, the Swindon engine going in the Honda. It's never been in the FK8. So, uh, it's just, just I just want to make sure that I don't have any engine problems like I did last year. Do you know what I mean? Again. Yeah, but, like, I think, I think um, that's quite a clever decision because it's the last year for the Swindon, isn't it? So, yeah. I think they're going to have that puppy turned up as far as it'll go, really. It's quite clever, yeah. that. I think that's quite a good little, and good little decision. And they want to win the championship again, wouldn't they? They won it last mm. year. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, first so, time in a long time. So they want to prove first it time in a long time, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think if we can get if we can get the uh, the cooling package right on the, on the uh, FKA, I think um, the Swindon works really really well. Um, the only time it don't really, really work is when the engines get too hot. Um, and uh, that's the trick. That's the trick to that engine, I think. So you know, you look at the Infinity this year. The engine bay is so far back; it's got so much room in it. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. Uh, that's why the engine performed really well. Yeah, for sure. I think I think it'll be all right. You know what you're doing. The car's good in it, so it'll be all right. The chassis is probably one of the best on the grid. Mm. 
Yeah, if, I think that's if, a fair. I think that. Right, before I think that's you fair. two get all bloody technical and bore everybody Sorry. else. <laughs> yeah, I do apologise. So we're going back yeah. to Sam. We're going back Sam, to Sam. I believe you got a second question. <laughs> sorry, Sam. I apologise. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, no, I just wanted to ask where did where do you see yourself this year? Who do you want to beat, and where do you want to be? Um, I, I, I think that could go to both of them. Maybe. I don't know. I can't answer that question. That's a stupid question for, for me. Fantastic question for Greasy, but I can't. I can't. I don't know why you, you're just trying to wind me up now. Sorry. Um, no, I, 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 you know, my target is Josh Cook. Um, I really want to. I really want to beat Josh, and if I'm beating Josh, that means I'm in for a chance for the championship because he's a hundred percent going to be uh, be in for the championship this year for sure. Um, but you know he's a very very tough driver to beat, and uh, he's never ever lost to any of his teammates he's had before, including people like Ash Sutton, uh, Tom Chilton, for instance. You know he's he's always won every year against his teammates. Um, so I'd love to take that record away from him. And uh, you know if I'm anywhere near Josh, I'll be doing a good job. Yeah. Very good answer to that. I like that. Yep. Yeah, okay. almost like you thought. Almost like you thought about it. I, I, I like did. It. I made it up on the spot. <laughs> yeah. that's impressive. To be honest, that's impressive because you didn't pause or anything. You didn't even take a breath of air. It's quite this impressive. Is what you call a, this it's is because you call you're a pure professional. <laughs> pure professional. I'm too. I'm too close to bit Birmingham to be like that. You ed- <laughs> occasionally hear a bit of a bit of brummy. All right, mate. I, How you doing, buddy? I've, I've right. taken. Um, I've taken a bit of Jason. It's Plato good. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I sort of started now. Like, uh, 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 oh yeah, well. Why you have yeah. a think about what you're going to say? I thought that. Was, I just thought that was his age. To be honest. No, but no, it's, a te- it's definitely <laughs> a tactic for him because he goes. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, he's thinking about it. Goes, uh, 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 yeah. Um, and then he just reels off the answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, he's he's. He, uh, He's a bit of a legend. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna take the piss. I, I'll tell him that you were like, but I'm not gonna take the piss. <laughs> just, just, just saying. <laughs> yeah. so moving moving swiftly, swiftly on. Mess. Moving swiftly mm-hmm. on before Creasy gets buried by the whole grid. Uh, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't spoken to you for a while, have I, Creasy? No, last um, night, I believe. Yeah. Um, when you joined the grid back in 2019, you yeah, obviously. Let's- Quick, Kev, just quickly before you answer, how fit yeah. is your wife? <coughs> Very. <laughs> Very. Amazing. I'm a lucky man. You're punching, mate. You're punching. <laughs> well, well punching, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might see her next year. Oh, dear. Yeah, well, this good. year. Tell us to come see me. <laughs> She'll be watching this Saturday night as well. Um, who, who was your who was your hero you know coming into the BCCC you know, you, anyway? You're my hero. You're my oh, hero. Apart from me, obviously I'm number me? one. Uh, okay. Yeah, apart from <laughs> Robot as well. Uh, what racing hero or just yeah racing? Yeah, touring hero. cars. Who did you look up to when you come into the touring cars? It, well, it's it has to be JP. It has to change now. Want, not that I want to admit that, but it has to be uh, Jason Plato because he was just an absolute legend, didn't he? And, uh, and even more so, when I got to meet him this year, we went to the British Grand Prix and uh, we was having a couple of beers with him and he, he just, honestly, I just, just, I just could not stop laughing. Like, he's just so funny with some of the, some of the stuff he's coming out with. Um, so he was a good guy. But, yeah, I think, you know, when I watch Colin Turkington, I just think he's a true... Uh, Jen is a professional. He he does exactly what it says on the tin, and yeah. um, that's great. Uh, and then you look at Ash Sutton. I love that aggressiveness and and the way he drives the car as well. So there's a cocktail of of three people there for sure. But to go on the piss with definitely JP. <laughs> Have you read his book? <laughs> yes, I read his book, and uh, I went to I went I went to um, not Ibiza, I went to Tenerife uh, for a couple of weeks, and I read his book when I was out there having a few beers, and uh, yeah, it's hilarious. Some of the stuff that he's got up to, I could hundred percent imagine me doing most of that. To be honest, that's cool. I'll tell the truth, you got it on Audible, didn't you? If you struggled with the words. <laughs> no, Jody, Jody read it to me. 
Oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Okay. Any more questions from you? Any more no, questions? No, no, I'm, I'm here for a good time, mate. Yep. I'll let the others oh. crack on. <laughs> for a marathon. Let's go to Katie. Uh, hi. Hi, Katie. Hi. Um, bit of a random one and then a racing one, but what's your most embarrassing moment either on the grid or before the race or... Oh. The most embarrassing moment. <laughs> There's been a few, you can tell. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, I got caught peeing, peeing in the bottle in the back of the lorry uh, where I was desperate for a wee before <laughs> before the race. And then, uh, but, so I got caught because Jack Goff does it all the time, right? So <laughs> he, he, I've never, ever pissed in a bottle ever in my whole life. Just, just never done it. I've never done that sort of thing. But every race... <laughs> like Goffy, Goffy was good. pissing in a bottle, right? So then, like, it, it sort of like caught on, and then Bobby started doing it, and then Carl started doing it, and then, um, and then, so I thought, well, you know, oh, waste, waste not, one not. So uh, I ended up, <laughs> ended up doing it, and got caught. And then, um, the most embarrassing though, I, I forgot to throw it away. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, good lad. And, uh, good lad. And, uh, and, uh, and the the so after race three, I can't remember where it was. Um, can't remember where it was, but it was after race three. So we're all in the back of the truck, and I always got because I'm a bit superstitious, like we said earlier. I always got changed on the back right hand side of the truck, so that was my spot for all season, right? Like this year, I was on the top top left of the truck. So so anyway, um, as we're packing up. I'm getting unchanged in the back, and uh, the lorry, the tail lift, has sort of come down <laughs> to reveal like <laughs> loads of bottles of piss at the back of the spider <laughs> bag. That, that was quite embarrassing. Good lad. <laughs> right. Have you have you ever done it, Robo? <laughs> no, Adam and I used to go under the trailer between the tractor unit and the trailer. You know that little bit, that little bit of a gap. Unbelievable! What? Piss. What in the in the open air? Just yeah, smash it out. Why not? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Just do I it. Like stage, Adam. I, I literally have stage fright. If I go into a pub and you're in the U yeah. line or next to me, I won't be able to. Go oh, I'm the same. Go. I'm the no, no. So you know where the the bit there's a bit between, and then the trailer detaches. They usually put the curtain round. We'd pull the curtain back, and so you've got some cover, but it is oh, still. Right, yeah. It's quite it's quite <laughs> a trick. That the only thing I did do first weekend of my new white cat clean overalls, I stood up, didn't I? Underneath the uh, the connection thing on the back of the trailer, so I had all black grease over my brand brand new oh, white nice. suit. That 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 effed it. To be honest, that was it. Yeah, I had to get a yeah. new pair. So yeah, yeah. So there is a, there that, is a quite a, quite a few people do it. You see, see, because the thing is, going to the toilet on a race weekend when the fans are there, if it's like you know, there. you get before a race, I always get a nervous wee. Even if I get to the toilet, yeah, I don't even need yeah. a wee. I feel like I need a wee because you feel like you're so nervous. You just yeah. you're gonna wet yourself. But um, yeah, it's nice to say. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's my most embarrassing moment, Katie. Any other question? So one more. Okay. This this little monkey. Oh, mate. <laughs> he wants to know who your favourite Marvel superhero is and why. Oh, oh. Wow. that's a proper uh, question. That's the best question I've heard since I've been here. To be fair, <laughs> I'll give you that. Batman <laughs> is that Marvel? Not DC. That's terrible. Oh dear, I'm, I am sorry. I'm not into you know. I just you know whatever. <laughs> is, is, is Batman? Did you say? No, no, he's not. It's not apparently. He's not. That's he's DC. Well, I don't. I, I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I just just know that there's, he's wearing a cape. Therefore, he's superhero. He's Superman. DC. Oh, DC. Oh, dear. <laughs> Iron Man. I am it's like Iron all these. Man. Yeah. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Let's go Iron Man. Man. Because I raced in the go kart championship at Buckmore Park called the Iron Man and I won the championship. There you so, go. There you go. Let's mate. go for I'm... Iron Man. Who's his favourite? What's his name? Christian. Christian. Who's your oh. favourite Marvel character? Spider Man. Oh, I should have seen that on the pajamas. Didn't see yeah. that. <laughs> That's a well, got, that's a pretty good answer. He's on the PlayStation. He's on the Xbox. Oh, good lad. Oh yes, good, good lad. lad. <laughs> Add me up. Cross 
cross play, crease man. My my name's the crease man. Add me on there. <laughs> we play. Oh my god, that's not, that's not bad, is it? That's not a bad. That's not a bad username. There's some pretty bad ones out there. That's fairly good. I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, we've got we we play Call of Duty. Me, uh, Josh Cook, Jake Hill. Oh, uh, do you? I've not been invited. Brilliant. Who? Amazing. Have you got? Have you got? Are you on it? Of course I am. So Add us on. No, I'm not interested. I'm not interested now. I'm not interested, to be honest. Oh, wait, we end up, we, we won, me and Jake have won a few, you know? Quite good, isn't it? Have you? Yeah. I'm pretty, I used to be pretty good. I used to be a bit of one of, what do they, what do they call it? Alert, what do they, people that just sit there with a sniper rifle. That was kind of my gig for a yeah, long campers, time. Yeah, like campers. Campers. Camper, that's it, campers. So back in the day, Modern Warfare 2. That, that's not the polite there, one, that, uh, nickname. No. Oh, is it not? Is it, does it begin with a W? The other yeah, one? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> And then N, there's an N in it as well. Fantastic. Um, yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. 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 No, All right, I'll add hit us you. On. I'll do a bit. Add us on there. I'll do a bit. Add Formula One. I'll on? smash you up on that. You won't. I'll smash you to bits on a Not, sim. No, I'll beat you. Don't go on a sim. <laughs> Get on a controller. All right. No, on a sim, mate, I'll smash you living daylight hey, out of you. I'm very good. I, I, Just saying. I've never had a sim, but I, I reckon I'll You did. Be. No, 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 you did. Because during all that COVID thing, you were playing on some sort of rig. It was terrible. <laughs> was it bad? It was so it bad. I threw You're it away. blaming your tools again, Brucey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I threw it away in the end. Just, was it bad? It's just a joke. And I was just thinking mine. so did Bobby Thompson, which never happened. Well, <laughs> oh dear. I've just put a I've just put a fourth screen on mine so I could look at data, right? But I'm only doing it to look cool, right? It's just it's just but I don't really know how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. I just I've got all the gear, but absolutely no, no idea. idea. It's the, yeah, no. <laughs> this is what I'm no saying. Idea. I reckon I'll beat you. I don't think you would. Just, you know, putting it I'm out coming there. up. I'm coming up tomorrow. All right. Come up. You're more than welcome. All Either right. stick a 50 quid bet on it and it being televised or let's move on. Come on, boys. I'll stick, yeah. 100, I'll stick 100 quid. I'll be quicker than you around Donington in a TCR car and we'll give the 100 quid to charity all right. in, on the IRA, on iRacing Sim. Boom. Done. Done. Sort sorted. I race it. Right. I hate that I got, game. That's like, I've got to go because I've got to do some testing. See you later. <laughs> 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 no, I, you got to use iRacing. You can't use anything else. I mean, our fact is all right. It's but... a joke, though, isn't it? It's an absolute joke, no, iRacing. Why? Because you Why? literally go on the grot. You go like, you go cut a little bit of a corner or, or touch Oh, grass. yeah, and they flag you. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's really difficult. So, like, I've been on it 10 years, genuinely. And, uh, I've still only got like a. <laughs> I've still only got like a B license because I'm. I just can't. I I just have to send people off. It's really I literally bad. spent. I spent about. I spent eight hundred quid on a computer to run the poxy thing. I bought. <laughs> I bought about four hundred quid worth of cars and licenses or whatever you needed and yeah. games and stuff. I had to go on it, and then within about a week, I threw the whole lot in the bin. Are you joking? <laughs> no, because because it was just winding me up. Like I was even in an MX Five. Mazda, you were crap. Just, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. It is bad. It's quite. I quite like the oval racing on it. I know we're divulging something really boring again, so I'm going to go in a second. But the oval racing is quite good because you can smash the living bells at the Yanks, and they hate it because we're Brits. <laughs> right. Next question. <laughs> right. I'm going to go because I feel like I've interrupted your Q and A, but I just want to pop in and say hello, really. And uh, yeah. Well, uh, welcome back. Enjoy. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Tony Gillum. Tony yeah. Gillum. Yeah. May, I might see you, or I might not see you. How about that? Hey. Mm, maybe. You never know. It could be the pace back. car driver. See, there's all different avenues, isn't there? It's all different things. I could just be driving someone's wagon to the circuit. You never know. You never know. So, watch your space. Nice yeah. one. I'll catch you I'll catch you all soon. You'll take care. Uh, all right, cheers, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, mate. Uh, bye, guys. Bye. Uh, <laughs> and uh, um, I think Sharon. I think you uh, yeah. asked the question. Yeah, have you? No, and I couldn't get onto the link, which is why I was late. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Chrissy, last year as a Jack Sears. This year, you're going to step up a level and go in the top ten. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Champion. 
champion. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I think, um, I don't know. I think uh, it's a good question, really, because I, this year, I mean, uh, there was so many races that I feel that I could have been quicker, um, but I was protecting my lead and winning the Jack Sears. You know, as soon as I was in the lead, I, I made, that was the first thing my engineer told me, right, you're leading the Jack Sears. Um, just bring it home, and um, there was a like whole pretty much whole of the season we were doing that. Um, so pe- pretty much like races like Snetterton, Alton Park, for instance, I was in the top three, like I said earlier in practice, and the car was mega. Um, made a mistake in qualifying, yes, qualified, I think, P9 at Alton Park and P16 at Snetterton from, from the top three, and um, mm. you know, uh. I know the pace is there or, or, or nearly there. Um, I've got a lot to work on this year. And I do feel like this year, top 10 is definitely the goal. First podium in front of the crowd and and, and, and that would be amazing. Um, but I honestly do believe in five years' time, I can I can really set my goal for the Independence Trophy for sure. Um, and just to be in the top 10 at the end of the year of the Championship. Which, which would just be incredible for a guy like me, a plumber from Broadstairs, you know, four years in, and uh, I'm talking about winning the British Touring Car Championship, which is just uh, yeah. unbelievable. I don't think it's out of the question. Um, I was going to ask you about your, your set routine before a race, but that's being asked. So I'm going to ask you a totally random question now. Go for it. I love them. <laughs> if I was a genie <laughs> and could give you three wishes... What would, would you I wish for? To, where would I have to rub you first? <laughs> <laughs> mm, let me see. Oh, Me head. Uh, <laughs> it's only thing wooden. <laughs> Got it. What was the rest of the question? Sorry. <laughs> so I threw you by that, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so if I was a genie and I could grant you three wishes because you rubbed me head, what three wishes would you ask for? Oh, God. Oh, boy. What, like in racing? Anything? Oh, dear. Totally, it was a random question. My health is obviously key. That's uh, and my family's health. So that's my that's the one first wish I would, because uh, that, that's my family, Jodie and the kids are. Uh, and everything to me, so that's my first one. The second one, um, to win the British Touring Car Championship for sure, because I think, um, that would just be like you know, even winning a race for me is amazing, but winning the championship would be uh, definitely a wish. And the third wish is for the fans to get in this year for, for sure, hey. because, hey. because uh, yeah, it was, it, it, I can't go. To, from touring car having my third year and only one year with the fans and it could end this yeah. year couldn't it you know it could be out of a drive or or whatever and it would be such a shame to uh to not see the fans again okay Thanks. and do you think that you would ever drive for west three reason because you know aj is not there um i know his his um, ride's been taken over this year but would you like to go to WSL? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, you know, there's no secret there. You know, we we again we were talking to WSR this year um, at the end of Brands Hatch. You know, um, again spoke to Dick and you, you know, it's just it is it's just to work alongside him. Do you know what I mean? I mean, to, for me, it's enough to be on the grid with, with somebody at that stature, and he's just a he's just an idol of mine. Um, you know, uh, there, there's nothing he can't do with, with a car, and um, he's just a genuinely lovely guy. I'd love to race for him. I'd love to be in a manufacturer team, just so uh, you know, I could I can. It's just another level um, to, to, to the sort of CV. Uh, to, and to say you're a factory BMW driver would be uh, would be incredible, um, but for sure, you know, if that if that opportunity come along with Honda, you know, and be a factory driver for Honda as well. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what's going to happen where I am now? Um, I know Steve Dudman's putting a lot of time and effort into the team, and I know other manufacturers are, are looking at us as well. So, 
who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, I'd love to. I, I would love to one day race for for WSR and Dick Bennett's, and uh, for sure. Yeah. Well, lastly, I, I could just say I think this year you there's the dream team with you, Josh and Jade, and um, I think you're the team to watch. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I mean, we we. I don't know. We've got all different different styles, different characters, different, you know, me and Jade are very good with, with um, social media and public and uh, um, sponsors. And Josh is very, very focused on the job in hand. Uh, he's such an amazing driver. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's definitely a champion for sure in the future. And, um, but Jade's going for the Jack Sears. I've got my first year with no pressure and the first time that I've stayed with a team for the second year, which is which is really good. Um, and, and I know how much Steve Steve Dudman really wants to win this year. And 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 same with, with Mickey Sargent coming over. Uh, it's been a great asset to the team already. Um, everyone's working so hard at BTC Racing uh, to, to, to get us back to where we belong at the front. We had a tough year last year for bad luck or engines or whatever it was. Um, and yeah, I do feel if we can get this Swindon engine running with the chassis we've got and with the engineers we've got and with the team we've got, uh, well, yeah, I think you could be right. I think, you know, I'm, I don't want to big it up too much, but if we come out the blocks, we're, we're definitely going to be there for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Has anyone got any final questions just before we wrap it up then? I have one. Yeah, go for it, Reese. How does the car drive with ballast compared to no ballast? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. I've never run it, have I? I was lucky enough to have some ballast at Fruxton, uh, which I didn't really feel it too much around there because it's such a flowing, uh, free flowing track and quick, you know. Um, if anything, it probably helped me a little bit around there. Uh, but at Alton, I think I had some ballast on as well. Um, and uh, it does, it just affects the car a little bit. I found it. We run ballast in, in uh, practice in Spain when we were practicing out there because uh, we thought we were going to be well up there. Um, so that was a waste of time, but because uh, <laughs> I was nowhere pretty much. But um, nah, we, we, we had a bit of practice with a bit of ballast and... Uh, you know, Josh and Tom were running it quite a bit. Um, but I just found it under brakes, on the brakes a little bit. Sort of, it just sort of puts the car in a little bit like later from your normal braking zones. But, yeah, I mean, for, for what I carried, I think 12, 12 kilos or 20 kilos, Lee, I can't remember what was for, for, for where, ninth place or whatever I got. It was, um, yeah, it, it weren't too much. I think, you know, putting on... Putting on sort of fifty k, I think you know would have been, would have been a bit of a difference. You'll get a nosebleed when you start carrying that. <laughs> <laughs> I love coming on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking oh, forward right, to the hybrid, guys. Chrissy? Um, uh, let's let's wrap it up. Are you up, looking then. forward We've... to the hybrid? Oh. Yeah, I think um, I think it's going to be really good for the sport. Um, I think. Uh, you know, whether it's coming at the right time or not, um, because of obviously the situation we've been in, um, you know, the world's difficult for, for money and sponsors and stuff at the moment. Um, so I, I do feel that it will attract a different type, type of sponsor to the British Touring Car. Um, and I think, I don't know even how it's going to work yet. I don't know. I've heard that there might be a button that you push. You've got 15 seconds of of boost or whatever yeah. you've got over the lap. Or That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's yeah. true or not. Um, I mean that sounds pretty cool. That you know, bit of uh, you know that. So that sounds quite cool. And I think it could add a whole new thing to touring car. You know, it, it's been the same sort of cars now for a few years, and I think bringing a whole new hybrid concept, you know, going to lead to reliability problems. It's going to throw a few people out. You know, it gives a gives us a different dynamic to the to the championship. Yeah. Be good for the fans as well, I think. Yeah, it'll be a case of push for push for power, man. Sorry, the case of push that button and go. I think it's going to be called push to push to punt instead of push to pass. (laughs) (laughs) Only if you see Robo, eh? Yeah, yeah. 
So the question is, is Robo on the grid or not? Yes or no? Well, that's what we'll have well, to you wait heard it here first there. that he doesn't say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Take a quick straw poll. Who thinks Roma will be on the grid next year? Yeah. 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 This year or next year? This year. This year, this yeah, year. definitely. Yeah. 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 <laughs> With Dan Kemish. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> right. On that note, guys, thanks. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. It's been brilliant. And thank Thank everyone for joining in. It's been yeah, honestly, I really appreciate brilliant. all you know, you lot, you lot coming in, tuning in tonight to watch uh, watch us mess about. But I really appreciate all the support, and uh, hopefully, I can get a podium for you guys this year. Excellent. You want Cheers, Lee, for the invite you as well. Named in your first podium, so remember all our names. I yeah, will. Yeah. <laughs> we, want, we want to be named off in the thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Malarkey. Thank you very much. Uh, Excellent. Thank you, right. thank thank you guys. We well, will be doing more of these. So we will be doing more of these with other drivers as well. So if Greasy will allow us. Um, so <laughs> keep an eye on the page. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Bye for now. Cheers, guys. <laughs>